Thank you. Okay, I want my ticket now and my poster. <laughs> and if you're an artist that wants to design posters for this project, you should talk to Bruno because like the more cool posters we get for this, the more people want to donate. So up next is um, ah yes, Romeo. Who's going to be talking about citizen science and Camilla SDO, our favorite space chicken. Well, thank you for having us, Space Stop San Francisco. This is not your ordinary rubber chicken. This is Camilla SDO. Unfortunately, she's not here right now, uh, but she is actually online checking in from. Russia, Star City, Russia. But this is really a story about two characters. Um, NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory, also called Little SDO, and Camilla Corona, who, like I said, is in the snow in Star City, Russia right now, training with the astronauts at the Cosmic. Yes, she's not an ordinary rubber chicken. She has done zero-G flights, and she has flown the T-38 <laughs> into the edge of space, and she's training to fly to space. This one amazing chick. Um, but SDO is one amazing spacecraft because SDO takes images of the sun in higher resolution every 12 seconds in a different wavelength so we can study the sun and get an understanding of this amazing ball of gas that prevents life on Earth. But why do we want to do that? I mean, it's their half of the day and the other half it's not. So, well, there's so much to it. The sun really uh, provides us with so much energy and life, but it goes through a cycle. It's called the solar cycle. Every 11 years, it becomes more active. And we're about one year away from solar max, the most active time the sun. So we'll be seeing more uh, solar flares. Solar flares are pretty much a big, the biggest explosions in our solar system, sending out plasma into space, traveling at very fast speeds toward Earth, interact with our magneto um, with our magnetic field, and then creating two visible things, tinfoil heads <laughs> and auroras. So auroras are, are the beautiful things about, about uh, space weather, and the cat theme is just, you know, you gotta <laughs> um, But it really impacts our technology. Um, not only is it harmful for our astronauts in space and can damage our spacecrafts, but it can actually take out entire power grids here on Earth. And that impacts you and me and everyone. So thanks to social media, SDO, little SDO, updates us about space, about the sun, space weather, and what is happening. And it helps us educate the public about our own star, which, by the way, is the only star we know of to grow vegetables. <laughs> and Camilla does a very important function. She not only educates and inspires and tries to build a community, but she wants to show that science and space exploration is fun. <laughs> and she has her own space weather project. On the NASA STO website, under the education tab, there is a little area that's called the Camilla Space Weather Project, where you and everyone else can become a solar scientist. You first learn a little bit about space weather and about the sun, what is happening <coughs> in the sun and what are sunspots, and then you answer a few questions, and you become a space weather predictor yourself. And at the end of the week, you go back and check your findings to what really happened that week. Why are we doing this? Well, we want to let people use almost real-time data. And we want to increase the knowledge about space weather. And really, what we want to do is this, inspiration. And uh, Clay Anderson and Camilla, um, with this young gentleman, uh, that's just one of my most favorite pictures there is. Just take a moment. Yes. June 5th, your very last time to see Venus go in front of the sun. And Lil SDO will become a Kepler for a day. Uh, why? Because SDO will see the planet Venus go in front of the sun. And so can you. North America, June 5th, we will be able to see this event. And here in San Francisco, it will start at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There are many events happening across the US. You can be part of it. It's not like an event where you blink and it's gone. It takes several hours. So 
on the NASA Sun Earth Day website, there are events listed, more will be added. Go out, go enjoy this astronomical event because it will never happen again in your lifetime. And here in, in San Francisco, you will see Venus come into the picture of the sun at around 12 o'clock and then exit at around 4 p.m. Um, or 4 o'clock, but the times are at about 3 o'clock. So anyway, all these people work with Camilla. I think you should follow Camilla and Little SDO because you can learn by having fun with a rubber chicken. And that's, I think, <laughs> that's the coolest thing ever. Uh, how can you do that? Go to About Me, Camilla SDO, and you will find all her outlets. Thank you.